Okay, so here is the um, assembly. Not much to look at, but uh, it's composed of an Arduino Pro Mini and an MCP2515, which is the little board on the bottom. On the top is the uh, Arduino Pro, which I piggybacked uh, on the um, Bluetooth board. It's exactly on the opposite side with some doubled, double-sided tape. Uh, that's the output. And um, it also has an input, but I didn't use it. Uh, I'm going to make a little, uh, let's say, foamy base where it can sit on. Uh, I got, uh, I piggybacked all of the connections from the, from the radio, uh, the CAN bus, here it is and um, the plus 12 volts from the uh, positive line from the radio um, I will modify that because if you turn the car off the Bluetooth is still on it's still powered and if you're near your car uh, you don't you know and somebody calls you it's kind of mute because you know you won't hear so I will actually get uh, this radio has a pilot out um, which is supposed to drive, for example, antenna, uh, preamp, and stuff like that. Uh, it's a low power output, and this, the whole Arduino setup here, uh, it's powered by its own uh, 7805L05 uh, regulator. It's 100, it can, can handle 100 milliamps. Uh, so I tried, and the Bluetooth board absorbs around 30, 35 milliamps. When it's operational, a little bit more when you plug in a USB key, but not, you know, I'm not going to do that anyhow. But, um, well, yeah, you can, if you need, you can just stick in a USB extension cord, drop it down under here, and have it here. And if you need, you can just plug it in. And uh, I put my microphone here for the moment, it's, it's going to, it's hidden, and it's pretty, quality is pretty decent on the phone, I ran some tests. Um... So yeah, what what happens is is practically yeah, you know next song previous song um, volume is is unchanged. This uh, starts and stops the uh, you know the it's the play button. But of course, if you get a call, you can answer, and if you double click it, you can also call. And this switches function from Bluetooth to um, auxiliary input, or if you have a USB key uh, plugged in this particular board. Uh, it can, uh, you know, play the uh, USB key. Um, if you keep uh, pressed the up or down button, it will increase and decrease the Bluetooth volume on your phone. Um, I, I, I emulated this uh, press uh, using a software uh, in the Arduino, so it works pretty well. It, it's pretty sensitive, so if you want to skip a track, you have to be very quick. I inserted a slight delay, but I couldn't exaggerate, else it, it would, you know, start messing around with the, uh, with the other, uh, you know, longer press button. But it's pretty, it's pretty neat if you just, you know, click like that, it'll go to the next song, click like that, it'll go to the previous song. I can't uh, actually show you now because uh, I have only this phone, and so <laughs> gonna have to take my word on that. But um, I will uh, upload the code uh, on some some site or maybe some double BMW uh, forum or whatever I, I'll, I'll still see. Uh, it's, it's working pretty well now. Um, so the just one thing that I want to change is that, as I was saying, um, this is still powered and, you know, uh, with the classical 30 minute, 45 minute delay before it cuts power to these devices, that's really 30 amp. Uh, relay and um, I, I was thinking of using the auxiliary pilot output here and I'm gonna make a little it's pretty simple circuit in solid state I'm not going to use a relay that pilot will drive a little FET and the FET will power the you know through the plus 12 volts it will power the Bluetooth uh, module so as soon as you turn off the radio the Bluetooth module will be killed. So, you know, it was, I mean, I prefer it that way. Uh, before I was using the uh, cigarette lighter um, power and that only works when the uh, engine is, is running or when you, you know, hit the start without uh, stopping it. So it, it's okay. Uh, I think it's better that way. Anyhow, that's it for the moment.